Welcome to this video tutorial on the anatomy of an HTML page. In this tutorial, we're basically going to look at common elements that are included in every web page, and we're going to be building our own simple page just to get you familiarized with those common elements. So, let's go ahead and get started. The three things we're going to need are first a folder to put our files in. I just have a folder labeled website on the desktop, but you can do whatever you want. A web browser, I'm using Mozilla Firefox, but you can use any browser you want, Chrome or Internet Explorer are fine. And a web editor, I'm using Bluefish Web Editor, which is a free web editor you can download off the internet, but you can use Dreamweaver uh, or any other uh, web editor of your choice. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is open Bluefish. We are going to create a web page from Bluefish right now it's going to be intense. So the first thing we're going to do is open an HTML tag. Now if you don't know about tags in HTML, a tag is basically enclosed in, uh, in brackets and it goes uh, like this. This is the start tag and this is the end tag. This tag tells us we're starting HTML and this tag tells us we're ending HTML. This just tells the browser that anything in between the start tag and the end tag is supposed to be read as HTML. So we're going to go ahead and actually save this. Uh, we're going to save it to our website folder. It's going to be saved as index.html. I-N-D-E-X dot HTML. Now an index page is basically the main page of a website. Okay, so the index page is just the main page. That's the one a browser will go to first. All right, and HTML is just the file extension. Now, every different type of file on a computer has a different extension. Uh, for HTML files, we just say .html. Go ahead and save that. Now, you'll notice when it saves, Bluefish turns on code highlighting. Now it knows that this page is HTML, so it highlights the HTML to make it easier for us to read. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to add some different pieces to this page. First, we're going to add a head. So, start head, in start head, a tag to start the head of the website, and a tag to end the head. Every web page has a head, okay? I'm just going to pop it down a line just to make it easier to see. And every web page also has a body. So, our web page has a head, start head, end head, and a body, start body, end body. When the head ends, the body starts, right? Now, in our body is the main content of our web page. So, we're going to uh, go ahead and just put in between this body tag and that body tag just some text. This is the main uh, content of your web page. That's exciting. So we're going to go ahead and save this. Okay, now we're going to actually go to our browser and open uh, the file we just created. So we're going to open the file and we see here we have our index file, our index HTML file. Um, so go ahead and open it. And uh, by the way, if you see if you see this little file, uh, this little file here, uh, this little the little file with the uh, curl after it, I don't really know what what that uh, curl is, so just ignore that. <laughs> Open the other file. So there we go. We have a simple web page here, and it says this is the main content of your web page. Okay, so that's exciting. Uh, but uh, you'll notice there's something lacking. If you go to Google or any other web page, you'll notice that up here in the top bar it says Google, right? Or Facebook or uh, Wikipedia or whatever. It says that up there. Whereas here we just have a file path. File uh, slash 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 C user C. And it's not very clean and neat. We'd really like to put something there. So we are going to go back to Bluefish, okay? And now, anything in the body section is main content of the web page. It's going to be on the page, like right here, right? Anything other than what's on the main page goes in the head section. So if we want to edit something up here, it's not in the main 
content of the page. So we're going to have to edit the head section, all right? In this case, all we have to do is add some title tags, okay? We're going to add start title and end title, right? And in between that, we're going to add a title for our page. Uh, in honor of my friend Aaron, we're going to use penguins. There we go. Okay, so we now have a title for our page. It's penguins. So go ahead and save this page again. And we're going to open our browser and refresh. Now, take a look up there. We now have penguins in our title. Isn't that exciting? So, again, we've just reviewed the basic anatomy of a web page. Basically, what, what's uh, going on is we have four elements that we are now keeping track of. We have our HTML tags. This tag tells us that we're starting to code in HTML. It tells the browser uh, to read everything after this tag as HTML. This tag tells the browser that we're ending HTML, so we're no longer typing any more HTML, and it can stop worrying about that. <laughs> this is uh, this is the body section of our page, which is just going to be the main content of the web page. So any text on the page, any other stuff we want to put on the page itself goes in the body. Anything that doesn't go on the page itself, but we also want to include with the web page, such as a title, we put in the head section, right? The title just... Uh, basically controls what goes in this little uh, tab bar up here. In this case, penguins. So this has been a basic tutorial on the anatomy of a web page. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, hopefully we'll get deeper in future video tutorials together. Alright, uh, this is Cameron Versluce over and out.